I will talk about data security in surfers. First of all, I will give an example related to data security. For example, we have a recruiting application that stores confidential data such as social security number, salary, and so on. And some just how some people have right to uh, log in in your organization and can accept in some object or field or records in your organization. That is data security. And it's very important to secure the sens sensitive data in servers. And uh, this platform includes simple to configure data configure security control that make it easy to specify with user can view, create, edit, or delete any records of view in the application. And you can configure a set at the level to uh, organization, object, view, and records. And this, in this module, I will introduce about control set to the organization. And in your organization, we can manage authority, uh, authority user setting passwords policy and limits when and where user can log in in your organization. The first is create and manage user. To create and manage user, we go to set up in servers and enter user in the file quiz post and click on user. User is standard object in servers and if list on a user in your organization, we can edit or view detail of that user in servers. And we can create a new user. I will view an example for creating a user in servers for example. We can we can use an any email that writes email to create a an user. And in in user, we the username have is have to a to be unique. And we can use a uh, user license and profile and I will talk this talk about it later. And we please say this can create a new user and uh, after create a new email you send and you can list in this to uh, change the password for that user and the next, uh, after we create that user, we cannot delete that user. We log in in the application again. After creating a new user, we cannot edit or, or we cannot delete just uh, deactivate and freezing the user. We click into the user and click edit to activate this or deactivate a user, something like that. And at last, uh, we can free freezing. Sometimes we cannot immediately deactivate an account uh, because this account the user is selected in a custom hierarchy view. So to prevent the user from logging in your organization while performing some steps to deactivate them, you can deactivate. For example, uh, Alice E work for your organization, but someday he uh, leave your company. So we have to deactivate that user, but don't allow Alice to uh, log in in your organization. But uh, Alice is selected in custom hierarchy field, so we cannot 
the active user immediately. So we have to free that user. For example, we free that user. Uh, free Alex. Uh, at that time, Alex cannot log in in your organization, and we have to remove him out of uh, customer hierarchy. And after that, we active deactivate deactivate that user in your organization and uh, we notice that reason only stop user from being able to log in when you deactivate it frees up the self of license to be given to another user uh, that's it about the uh, many user in self and the next we uh, talk about password policy. In Salesforce, we can set in password policy by uh, input uh, password word and click on password policy. In that, we can set up the policy of passwords. For example, the minimum password length. For example, in this case, we set in a letter. It means that when a user change the passwords for to log in in your organization, uh, is uh, at least it has at least a letter. And the next, we uh, talk about this login asset by IP address. You can specify an IP address pin for on organization or specify user profile. And uh, by that way, we go to input network asset. Click on network asset. Click on new, and we can input the star IP address and end IP address. This means that uh, when we set in this, uh, the user e in uh, e in uh, IP ran can log in in your organization. And the last, uh, we will talk about um, restrict login by by time. We go to profile in Salesforce and find out and list any uh, profile, and we can find out login hour in your organization. That is login hour, and we click edit. And we can set the time for uh, login time. It means that when we set in the time, in the time user can log in in your organization. That's it all about the uh, login data security in your organization. And the next, I will. Uh, introduce about how to part the children in this session control asset to the organization for example uh, create new user using setting administrator profile and then the ID that user and so forth and the new user must use system administrator profile uh, we go best setter and input user like before and please to create a new user and that user must be system administrator we can uh, true administrator profile and we notice that in in free version we cannot create Mm, more than two several user license so we have to the active another user to create that user to have this challenge
we click on this user and we can see that uh, this user uses license software license but for free version we cannot create more than more than one software license user so we have to deactivate this user before to create new one and after that we can come back to create that user for the challenge and uh, the new user must use the system administrator profile so we find that now we can choose the user license and system administrator and any first name last name you want the email with any email I can use that's the, the my email before I use before and you username has the email address and we notice that in your challenge they said that the username for a new user must include guest admin in somewhere so the username I input guest admin for this case and nickname we also like that and click save but it should be case in that in Salesforce organization have some user have the same name so I change another one yeah okay now I will create that user so I check the new user must inactive mean that I have to uncheck this checkbox for inactive that user and we say And I check the challenge. Okay.